Here's your control panel for controlling both time and temperature. Uh, the, the temperature is actually always being controlled, but it's blocked out by the time. So to change your temperature, you just use these up and down arrows and hit the set button when you're done. And also there's a hysteresis, which is the band that it'll start and stop in. And if you hit the set button, you'll see it. And I have it set to five degrees right now. So this will turn on at 85 degrees and turn off at 80 degrees. I'm sorry, vice versa. It'll turn on at 80 and turn off at 85. Uh, timer, same way, a little tricky to um, operate. You, um, you press the one button to increment the ones place. You see it goes around. And then the second place, third place, you can have. Now right now I have this to minutes and seconds. When it ships, I'll have it to hours and minutes. But that gives you up to 90 hours, 99 hours and 99 seconds. And when you get up where you want, you just hit the set button. Inside, we have the solid state uh, relay. Your 110 volt goes here and your neutral goes here. Power goes in right here. Green light indicates when it's actually running. So right now, if we look at it, we can see the output is on for the temperature, but it's not going to run because the timer is not timing. So as soon as I hit the start button, you're going to see that green light turn on inside. So I hit that. Now you can see we do have a green light on now. And we'll fast forward this part of the video and you'll see it shut off when this reaches a minute and five seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and off. I'm going to start it again just to show the temperature control works. See, so right now we have it set for, for 85 degrees. So if I hold this in my hand, you can see it quickly climbing. Open the door. I'm holding my hand. It kicked off because my hand got it up to 85. Now it's going to drop back down to 80 degrees. Let's see it kick back on here. And again, that's that hysteresis. Which you can change by hitting the set button if that's too wide or too narrow for you. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber. We run the Automation Store. Be sure to visit our support section for more great articles and videos. And view our line of PLC cables and trainers, simulators, repair services, surplus inventory, charity auctions, and more.